Hello guys, so today in this video we are going to study about oligemic congenital heart diseases versus plethoric congenital heart diseases. So first of all there are six type of right to left shunts. Okay, so there are six type of right to left shunt. We have to remember a number coding for each of them and what are the right to left shunts first of all. So the first right to left shunt we all know it's truncus arteriosus. We denote the number one to it. Why one? Because in truncus arteriosus the main problem is that pulmonary artery and aorta are not formed differently and they are developed as a single vessel that's why truncus arteriosus so the trunk in truncus arteriosus the problem is only one vessel is present that's why we number it as number one we number it as number one right now coming to the second one second one i denote it as two transposition of great arteries why two because in transposition of great arteries there are two arteries one is aorta and the pulmonary artery are interplaced with each other in their anatomy means that from left ventricle pulmonary artery goes off and from the right ventricle aorta goes off so two arteries are interchanged that's why two is denoted to tri transposition of great arteries now coming to the third right to left shunt we denote it as three what is three tricuspid atresia why we denote it as three because tri that's why now fourth one fourth one is tetralogy of fallot okay so why do we denote it as four because there it is the, because the name suggests tetralogy and what does what is the tetralogy there are four things that are included in tetralogy of fallot one is overriding of the aorta pulmonary stenosis ventricular septal defect and right ventricular hypertrophy four things that's why tetralogy of fallot we denote it as fourth fifth one is tapvr and i denote the number five to it why five because the disease total anomalous pulmonary venous return consists of five words that's why fifth and lastly sixth sixth one is epstein anomaly i denote the number six to it why because the b looks like six that's why epstein anomaly now we have to just remember the oligemic and plethoric consist of which of the following so it is a very easy mnemonic i have made and i use the same mnemonic to go to my examination because if at examination you use logic then it's a big problem because uh, many a times you won't be able to put logic in a current situation like that so what are the plethoric causes so first of all what is plethora plethora means that the lung field that the lung fields are filled with blood means that the pulmonary arteries and pulmonary vessels are filled with blood and oligemic means that the pulmonary artery and vessels are devoid of blood okay so first of all we should know that why few congenital heart diseases are oligemic and why few are plethoric so we take an example over here of tricuspid atresia see for example in tricuspid atresia we all know in tricuspid atresia the main problem is that the tricuspid valve is not formed that's why whenever blood will come from the superior and inferior vena cava it will go into the right atrium and normally it should go through the right ventricle to the pulmonary arteries and from there to the left atria and left ventricle and into the aorta but in this case right uh, tricuspid atresia the blood will not go from right atria to right ventricle that's why the blood the blood uh, will go through an asd into the left atria and it will enter the left atria right from left atria it will enter the left ventricle and from left ventricle the blood will go into the aorta so maximum of the time the blood which should have come over here in the right ventricle is not present that's why the lung will get very less blood or almost no blood right blood will get the uh, lungs will get blood only when another ventricular septal defect is present that's why tricuspid atresia will be a cause for will lead to oliguric lung fields Oligu uh, not oliguric oligemic lung fields means that the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vessels will be devoid of blood uh, so you have understood that now we have studied these six type of right to left shunts in these six type of right to left shunts some are oliguric and some oligemic and some are plethoric so there are many reasons and uh, you can put logic in it but i have made a very simple trick for it in plethora the mnemonic is 521 521 means that the plethoric causes are first t a p v r y i already told you five denotes for t a p v r for its five words second two what is two Two is transposition of great arteries already told because two arteries are in have interchanged their location and lastly one one is truncus arteriosus so these are the three plethoric causes and there are oligemic causes what are the oligemic causes rest all means apart from 521 rest all rest all means we are left with four three and six means the causes are first of all four what is four tetralogy of fallot second is three three means tricuspid atresia and lastly we are left with six means epstein anomaly so you might have understood that oligemic is 436 and plethoric is 521 you just have to remember these two codes now we generally tend to confuse that oligemic mein kya tha and plethoric mein kya tha oligemic mein 521 tha ya plethora mein 521 it is very easy see plethora consists of three words p p for penta which means five 
then t t for 2 and a a means ek that means 1 so 521 is for plethora now we come to a question so that you can understand it better which of the following does not cause the following chest x-ray does not cause the following chest x-ray appearance you can see this is a baby's chest x-ray and we can see that the lung feels that the lung feels are a bit hazy hazy means that the lung feels cannot be seen very nicely right so it means that the lung fills are filled with blood so if it is filled with blood means that it is a plethoric cause okay it is plethoric lung field so you the question simply asked which one is not a plethoric one right or the question asks which one of the following is an oligemic cause so tf so we all know that plethora plethora we have remembered 521 so tapvr is 5 tga is 2 trunca satris is 1 that means that the answer is of course option 2 tricuspid atresia which is a oligemic cause so that's it guys hope you understood this topic you don't only have to remember these two codes and it is very important to remember the codes because putting logic during the examination is a time taking process that's why i use this method and i advise you to use the same method thank you